Hey everybody, welcome back to the BMNG Drive Tough Car Challenge. Today's contestant is another Ibishu 200BX. This is the base model with a manual transmission, so no frills, little four peppy four-cylinder, a manual transmission and rear-wheel drive. Every budget drifter's dream car. <laughs> so, the previous... 200BX that ran on our track was the Type LS, which is, I believe, the top of the line model, and it did a 1 in 7 eighths. Will this car meet the same bar, or will it exceed it? Let's fire it up and find out what she'll do. Alrighty, let's get the car started. Turn our lights on. Actually, keep it on low beams. Put it in first gear, and three, a two, one, and away we go. In the third gears, we approach the first jump. Downshift it in a second. Can let the car figure out what it's trying to do here. Whoa! There goes a hubcap. In the third, coming through the chicane. All right. Oh, it didn't go in gear. Oh, shit. We're all right. Little wanna attempt my little wannabe attempt at a drift there. In the third, as we come into the Widowmaker from the top, drop it back in a second. Ooh. Get her back in first, and away we go. Woo wee! What a very exciting first lap so far. Holy crap. Clutch kicked it a little bit. That with an with a limited slip this thing would actually be pretty badass. Shit. All right, one lap down as we get across the finish line. Car's doing pretty good so far. Ooh, that's gonna be a bad landing, yep. Woo wee. Come on, girl, come on. In the third, over the jump, this is going to hurt. Okay. Come on. All right. This is definitely being interesting. If I remember right, the uh, Type LS's run was very similar in the terms of it's very chaotic at the end of this lap we will be pulling over if the car survives because we are now on the tying lap oh damn well it was pulling i think when i hit that rock it straightened it out so hey that works oh well, maybe not Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Well, we are now at the set past the seven eight, so we are currently tied. We are tied with. Well, actually, now we've beaten it because we are at the start finish line. We're gonna bring the car to a stop here. Shut her down. Turn the lights off, and let's go ahead, hop out, and see what's happened to this thing. Alrighty, so the car looks to be in okay shape. I mean, the windshield shattered. The car is sitting weird, so I, I suspect the suspension on this side is shot. I mean, 
It's actually sitting, if you look at it from the front, it almost looks like it's sitting lower going this way. But if you look back here, it's going the opposite direction. So the car could be twisted, which explains why our windshield's blown out. So anyway, she still runs and drives. Let's keep going. All right, she's running. Lights on. Three, two, one. Oh, it would help. Let's see. She passes the idle test, so that's good. All right, here we go. Actually, that time, the car took it pretty well. Oh, damn it. Come on, car. We got two and a half now. Oh, definitely got a pull here. Oh, shit. Let's shut it off. And, well, that makes things interesting. Let's go ahead and hop out and see what the hell's happened to our car. Okay, well, she looks quite worse for wear. If you look underneath it, you can see it looks like the frame rails look okay. Going down in here, it looks like is where they, they start to go. Going in the car's subframe, but... Uh, I see the drive shaft still in place, which is a very good sign, which means once we get the car back on its wheels, it should be able to keep going. Surprisingly enough, we only have one we have one hubcap that has uh, survived the onslaught so far. So we are currently at two and a third. So I'll go ahead, flip the car back over. I'll kick the roof up so our heads, the camera is not like halfway through the roof. And we'll go ahead and get going again. Well, we've got her back on her wheels. I've kicked up the roof just a little bit. Uh, can't see pretty much for jack shit, so this is going to be very interesting. Two and a third. Hold on. She passed the idle test, so let's go. Okay. Oh, golly. Steering is messed up. Oh, there it goes. Something's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Oh, dear Lord. Here we go. Turn in. Oh, this is going to hurt. Come on. All right, she's moving. There we go. All right, there's something wrong here. She does not want to move. Uh, I think the drive shaft might have went. I'm not sure. Uh, so we are at, I believe this puts it at two and five eighths. We're going to go ahead, hop out of the car and see what's happened to it. Okay, well, the good news is the drive shaft's still in place. The bad news is... The axle broke, so since this car does not have any sort of slit, limited slip differential, she tries to go, but she can't really go. So all that power is just being sent to the blown axle. So that is going to be it for the 200 BX's attempt at the Tough Car Challenge. So. As I said before we crawl the car, it hit, it was at 2 and 5 eighths complete. So let's go ahead, pop into overhead view, and we will discuss where the base 200BX ends up on our leaderboard. See you there. 
Alrighty, everybody, we're in overhead view. I don't think you can tell through the snow, but our 200BX is right here, start finish line. Two and five eighths was our decided rating. That puts us, well, it's third from the bottom. We are in front of the Brooklyn LeGrand Sport with two and a third, and the Type LS 200BX with one and seven eighths. That's what we're in front of. We are behind the Sunburst 2.0 Sport with two and seven eighths. The D15 Sport with three and a third, and the 88 Pessima 2.0 LX with three and three eighths. So, the nice thing is it beat the Type LS's rating. Second, the bad part is it didn't make it much farther. It made it, it didn't even make it a lap farther. So, uh, it is what it is. But it did it did up it. So who knows? Maybe when we get the Type L, it might go even farther. Or if we get one of the tuner ones available, maybe one of those will do better. Who knows? We will find out at some point, but that will be in a future episode because this one is done. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. 1,000 sub hype, we've made it. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, have a good one.